Well, what do you know? Check it out. Corneroids. We're back again on the needle ship. Needle ship SS needle ship. That could be taken wrongly. Don't take it wrongly. Leave it where it is. Do not make a joke out of it. End of story. Moving on. So, how was your day? Mine was good. That's good to hear. I didn't give you much time to respond, but that's okay. You had nothing to say. You're watching this from your couch. You're watching this from your desk. Probably watching this like I do whenever I watch Let's Plays. I usually watch them while I'm playing the same game the guy is talking about. Or girl. You know. Not many uh, girl Let's Players out there. There should be more. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's see, where was I? Drills. Okay, I can do this. Let's do the upgrade. Enhanced. Then I need some bronium for the next one. Uh, let's see if I can do some weapons. I can get the assault rifle. I need the SMG. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, one, two. I think I might have enough. What is this? Plutonium? I think I made that by accident. Or on purpose. Who knows? Uh, drills first. There we go. Now, weapons. Oh, yeah. We are all about the green today. Let's combine some of this madness. Uh, some more medium rock. Let's throw this away. I don't use that. Some heavy rock. Some heavy rock. Oh, yeah. Mosh pit. Well, I'm going to need a chest soon. Now that the stacks have changed in size, it looks like I'm going to need a place to stow all this. Uh, doing pretty good though. I got some space, some space. All right, how we doing? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, back down to the core. Get this out of my way. Uh, this way. Ooh, you know what? Before I go, let's make some more lightables. Mm, I think I have enough. Uh-huh. Let's see. Lights. What do I need? Cobalt batteries. Should be able to make some of those. One, two, three. Four. Oh yeah. Uh, this makes a bunch at a time. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh no! What do I need? Light iron block. I'm out of those. Interesting. Okay. Now I'm doing good. Now we're talking. Sixteen. Excellent. Light the way to the asteroid of doom. So yeah. Not much has changed. I'm thinking about, actually, even though I started out doing an intro and all that good stuff, I even made a custom intro for everything, or actually, outro, and intro, but I have never used the intro. Hey, get away from me. Even though, oh, look, I just destroyed my light. Anyways, like I was saying, even though I made an outro and an intro, I'm starting to think I don't really need to use it to cut time on editing and all that. It's better for me to just end the episode. Maybe I'll have a little outro song. I was playing around with Fruity Loops. Um for a bit. I'm no expert by any means <laughs> in the slightest. Is this the way to go? We'll see. Put that there. Yeah. I'm not an expert by any means, and so, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it at the end. You know, when the video's coming close to an end, I'll start playing the song, because it's kind of a soft song. It's not real, not real uh, aggressive. Not really, really aggressive. I hope I'm going the right way. Hmm. Oh, this way doesn't lead anywhere. Ah, oh, there's some ponium. Excellent. Found what I was looking for. Well, I guess I can't sing that song about still not finding what I'm looking for. Because I found it. And then uh, it would change to, I have definitely found what I'm looking for. And we're digging this up. I'm digging this up. If you are a Let's Player, I'd like to see your videos. That's the whole point of me. That's actually what I set up to do when I started making videos at all. I wanted to see what other people did too, and uh, you know, ideas and things like that. It's kind of like a collab. And so, if you make videos, post them. And if you don't, that's cool too. But I just like to hear and see what other people do. Because I like to see how other people start out in this game. Oh, some more ponium. Excellent. Because it's really cool to see other people's point of view, other people's uh, steps that they take. Yum, 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 yum. 
So, looked into, well, Star Command is an old game. Old, old game. I've been looking into it again lately. It's, it brings back good memories. Lots of good nostalgia. But I was thinking that, you know, this game could very easily become something similar to that, which would be totally amazing. Alien races, uh, and count, random encounters, things like that. So, what would, I don't know, maybe an idea that just popped in my head, but when you, tr in, in uh, okay, so instead of being able to fly around in just free space, what you do is you use hyperspace travel or some example or version of that to get from, I guess, like chunk to chunk, kind of. So you, you're like in an area, and then you fly out of that area into hyperspace, and then you go into another area. There's something similar to that. And then in each area, or on the way to travel there, you can run into like a random encounter in deep space, or something like that. It depends on how he decides hyperspace travel should be. Or maybe he won't even make it and leave it up to modders. Uh, let's see if I can get out of here. How am I doing on resources? I got 35. I think Ponium I'm supposed to mix with Titanium, though. Which means now I'm going to have to find some Titanium, because I foolishly smelted all my Titanium into bars. I guess anticipating making armor, so I can figure out how to get out of here. Yes. 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 Okay. I need like a... I need a map. I need one of those 3D maps on descent. I right clicked so my weapon disappeared for a second there. Well, it's not a weapon. It's a drill. It's a weapon against... Uh... Rocks? You know, that makes it a weapon of mass destruction. But I'm not really destroying mass. I'm, I'm kind of just moving it or transporting it into a different state. A state of floating, pulsating square in space. I still make the 4x4 four four holes, even though I don't really need to anymore. I really could just drill straight. Huh. Habits. Formed, hard to break. That could be a song. So, I also keep up with the probably direct competitor to this game, which would be Scrumple Ship, which is very similar. Ah, I just blasted my titanium. Scrumple Ship, I hope you guys have checked it out by Dirksen, Dirksen, something like that. It got funded a while back, and I talked about it a couple times on this show, but uh, he's made some recent advancements that make the game somewhat playable now. There's still no goal, end or beginning goal, so, you know, it's not exactly the f funnest game to play at the moment, other than creating ships, which is kind of like this game too, but this game does have some sort of goal. There's no end, hooray, you won, but there is goals that you could probably make on your own, like, hooray, I've got two stacks of radium, or something like that. But at least you can, there's danger, there's obstacles, there's adversity, and there's nothing like that in Scrumble Ship, but Scrumble Ship has a lot of promise as the uh, voxel destruction is pretty cool. The heat management is a really neat feature and you have to directly wire up everything. You have to connect every um, air pipe, every gas connection, and then there's there's uh, organic ships, stuff like that. Oops, I did it again. Which is a really neat feature and I can't wait to see them implemented in actual gameplay. And At the moment it's all like theory and uh, proof of concept. But the whole point of me talking about this is one of the things that I really get peeved about the uh, in the Kickstarter environment is games like this is a, are a perfect example. There there is no there is no kick there was no Kickstarter. This guy just set out and made this game, and it was it was amazing to start with. Limited, yes, but m more it was further along than a Kickstarter project. That and in fact, I I funded the uh, or helped fund the uh, Scrumple Ship project. Because, I, you know, I, I thought it was cool. I really wanted to see more of it. But what I'm getting at is I hate it, absolutely hate it, when I fund a project see, or see a project get funded and it takes forever for the creator to actually make any more progress than what they did for the demo or the, the presentation. What a pain. What a pain. 
There's another Kickstarter clone out there. I don't know when it was created, but I just noticed it recently. I don't know if it's a clone. It might have been first. Don't quote me on that. But it's called Indiegogo. And it looks pretty cool. It's just got an ugly name, though. Indiegogo. Ugh. That just invites neckbeards. So. I, like, I think Kickstarter is a cool idea. Or a cool, uh, cool name. It's definitely a cool idea, though. They make a crap ton of money, though. That is for sure. It's one of those ideas you're like, dang, how come I didn't think of that? And somehow gain massive web programming skills and awesome marketing skills and somehow $10,000 to start my own project. Man, why didn't that happen? <laughs> Anyways. So on this topic of end goals, since there is none in, in uh, cornroids, you kind of have to make one. And so what would what would be a good end goal? Well, let's think about that. Hmm. Let's go, let's go back to my ship. See if I can upgrade my drill one more time. Uh, I think that's it right over there. No. It's much smaller than that. There's the center of this asteroid. Where is it? I really need to mark my, my ship. I keep forgetting to do that. Ah, there it is. So we'll just go this way this away and we'll find some titanium on our way there excellent day eh, not too much let's just punch out of the asteroid right here I might see something cool on the way there wow we were we were in the center here we go Oh yeah, this drill is really just taking it out. I don't know what an end goal to this kind of game would be anyways, but maybe I don't want one. This is, I guess that's one of the cool things about uh, open-ended games like this. There is no end goal. It can just go on forever, and the, the experience is different every single time. Just a constant, never-ending adventure. It's a never-ending story. Whoa. Okay. Let's find our white, right side up. All right, so ponium, yes, it does require titanium. So we'll make all the ponium we can. Make all the uranium we can. Leave some uranium. Don't make it into whatever, whatever. Let's extract some, uh, or melt it into some water. Let's get the extractor out again. Uh, let's make some more rubble, some ice rocks, some water, some shards. Back to here, back to water, back to cobalt, then back to hydrogen. Excellent. Now, what can we do now? Can we do this? Yes, we can. Upgrade once again. Now I should be able to mine radium. Yes, I can. <laughs> In order to get the radium drill, I'm going to need a ponium drill. Purple, purple, purple. All right, do I want a flamethrower? So flamethrowers are really good for mining and also blasting enemies because it's just a mess of shooty shooty. But I'm going to need another Thulium Assault Rifle first, and then the, the minigun. Then the minigun and weak hydrogen thruster and a lot of ponium. I don't have enough ponium, so I, I can at least make the minigun. Now, the minigun is fun. It uses a lot of electricity, or whatever this power type it is. So, let's see. I uh, need some cobalt diamonds. I need one, two, three. So, I should be good. One, two, three and let's take this weapon right here and put this guy in here okay we should be good to go on a lot of different stuff so boop 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 excellent that was fast ta-da now let's go shoot this at this all right okay the next thing we want to do is upgrade our power source and maybe our uh, armor as well oops over here armor all right, I can't get the Ponium power source, which would be really cool. Let's see, recharge bonus 12, recharge bonus 5. Wow, that's a big difference. Okay, so I'm going to save my monies and go straight to the Ponium one. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get the Ponium stuff, but I, I will get titanium because I do have quite a bit of titanium. So let's do that. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I got that power source anyways. Can't hurt, right? 
It's definitely a lot better than the one I've got, right? What is this? Three, five. Oh, not that much more. Oh, well. Chest plate. Arm. And this. And then my Optimus Prime helmet. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's toss these. Or sell them. Uh, to no one. I have a bunch of Pony more. What happened? How come I can't make any more? I think I ran out of... Yeah, I ran out of titanium. Yup. I ran out of titanium ore, at least. I thought I had plenty. Oh, well. Back to the surface. Or the asteroid. Pew, pew, pew. Destroyed my cobalt lamp again. Excellent. All right, now that we got all kinds of cool stuff, we can do cool things. Uh, there's the center of the asteroid, right over there. So let's go this way. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Eh. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like a good place. Hmm, the, the lighting looks kind of red. That's kind of cool. It's fine by me. Ain't no tang, but a chicken wing. A chicken wing? Hmm, that'd be good. Maybe a chicken wing for breakfast. Chicken wings for breakfast? That'd be a great cereal. Chicken wing breakfast. Fortified with all the fat you need. What's over here? Hello? No. Let's keep going. Stay focused. This way. Diagonal square drilling. Now I could use my minigun if I really felt like it. Looks like I'm finding some cross sections here with my other tunnels. So let's uh let's just go all out. Yeah. Oh, found a nice little hole. And some titanium. Oh yeah, and some uranium. Let's get it, get it, get it. Oh yeah. I'm glad that we can go through one by one spots now. That really makes things a lot easier. And I, I well, I guess it kind of makes sense now because the ast, because being as big as you were before, um, and as because I think each block weighs one ton, or whatever TN stands for, uh, in this game. Whatever TN stands for in this game, I'm sure it's, I'm sure he's relating to the real world, the real world tons. However. If that's true, the asteroid man who's about one block would mean that I weigh one ton. Which, um, I don't know of any human that weighs a ton. At least I don't know anybody, personally. If you know somebody na na who's weighed, who weighs a ton, um, that's, that's awesome. I'd be very concerned for their health. Very concerned. Um, but also, also a bit intrigued as to how they're still alive. That would be a feat all its own. But anyways, when the uh, the asteroid explorer dude that you play as was the uh, the little cross shape and size, which was, I believe, four blocks big? Four or five? I forget how, how big it was. But, uh, let's see, yeah, five blocks. Which means he would have been five tons. No, that... No, that would not possible. Unless, of course, I am an alien race. Uh, you don't exactly see what you look like, but your shape is very humanoid. Um, and I guess I could be an alien race, or maybe my spacesuit weighs several tons, which wouldn't matter in space. It would take a while for me to get going anywhere, and it would take a while for me to slow down, but I guess it's possible. I mean, anything's possible in a virtual space, as this one. Okay, let's go back into where I came from, if I can, without being lost. Okay, here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. There's some more titanium and some thulum. That'll come in handy for something. I forget what. Okay. Ah, yeah, more titanium. Excellent. Okay, and then we'll be able to get out of here. This episode's going to run a little bit longer. Uh, since I'm not doing the outros anymore, I thought I'd, I'd add a treat to the episodes. Just make them a little bit longer than they are generally because I don't have an outro. So there's a lot less to, for me to edit. And I'm going to do a lot less of editing. Just make these videos a lot more raw. Um, just because I, I I really am starting to think that the uh, 
you can have a crappy video and a really awesome outro. So they don't really go hand in hand. So I'm just going to make crappy videos without outros. Haha, <laughs> how about that? Yeah. Man, there is a bunch of titanium. 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 Oh, man. Well, this episode's coming up to a, a wrapping up point ending situation that we talked about just a few seconds ago. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Join me again next time for some more asteroid exploring. Check it out. We're playing Cornoids. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Thank you.